How's it going, guys? This is Real Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. So, it's been a while since I talked about a camera shop in downtown Tokyo, and this time, you guys been probably been waiting for. This is another video on that topic, and today's video, I'd like to talk about a uh, Chuko camera box shop located in downtown Shinjuku. And I keep seeing this over and over again. If you want to buy a film camera in Tokyo, Shinjuku is probably the best bet for finding what we call film cameras because. The majority of camera shops are actually concentrated within this district area and I thought it would be nice to sort of like mention them on my channel. And if I'm right, a lot of foreigners know about this camera shop but I haven't found a really good video on this topic so I thought it would be nice to just mention it on my channel for the benefit for the community, for the film people who watch my video. Okay so <clears throat> Chuku camera shop, camera box shop. They actually started business back in 2001 and I was actually surprised when I heard about that from the store manager and initially when I went to their shop it has this sort of like before 2000 atmosphere and I typically thought they were open well before that but they were they only have been in business for roughly 20 years or so so that was actually something surprising to hear and also location wise it's roughly like a 10-15 minute walk away from the Shinjuku's east exit if I'm right stick in uh, BTS for you guys of going there. You basically just go through Yodobash camera and go straight to when you hit a big road, you basically turn left and keep on walking and it and a sign, you'll find a sign poking out, a face is sort of like poking out saying about that there is a camera shop there and you basically it is located on the B1 floor, so basement floor one. So it's hard to miss. So yeah, location wise, it's like really close to, from the Shinjuku station. And I'm, I'm kind of sick, my voice isn't like resonating that much unfortunately. But I have to give my remarks and my thanks to the store managers there for giving me the permission to shoot video and sort of like photos for my viewers and subscribers that it was actually a great location to pro just look at cameras. And because it's located on a B1 floor F and as the name implies box, there's a lot of boxes being sort of like lined up against the shelf and it's sort of like finding a treasure and a treasure chest kind of. So if you like that concept of trying to dig the prized camera and you don't know until you keep on like searching, this is actually that shop for you. And because they have so many cameras, it's hard to sort of like explain to you guys what specifically they have in their stores. I'm, I'll just stick in a bunch of video and footage for you guys, but they do have like it's more like concentrated within the 35 mil film, what you call atmosphere. They do not have that many like neo formats. They only have like a Pentax 67 on one of their sort of like counters, but mostly it's like concentrated within the 35 mil film cameras. And they have a bunch of like foldables, which was actually unique. And they have Nikon, Canon, Minolta contacts, and also point and shoots, both digital and film, if you guys are into that. Obviously I use a Nikon F3 so they had a bunch of Nikon F3s within stock which is really nice to see and also they do have the accessories such as pentaprisms and also the predecessors such as Nikon F, F2, FM2, uh, FG20 and EM series and also from the not, not Nikon side but from the Canon side they have the F1, AE1 and A1 if I'm right so that's something to mention. What's also unique about this store is they had a bunch of like photos being displayed on against the wall, like really scotch taped against the wall. And they're like really retro slash old looking photos, which were also really magnificent to see. And for online sites, they do have an online site, but it's like super outdated. So, and nothing's been, I guess, like what you call, how should I say, like renovated over the course of years. It ha looks as if it, they haven't like made it any kind of like improvements so this is more like a shop where you physically have to go there directly if you're in tokyo and also talk with the store managers if you're interested in a camera and some of the cameras are either in the box type of crate or within the behind the window uh glass so you had to basically have to talk to the what you call store manager if you're interested in a particular camera <clears throat> okay, so that's basically my brief coverage of the camera box shop in downtown Shinjuku area. Obviously, my voice is like dying right now, so I can't talk that much, unfortunately. And hopefully, I cover like uh, main parts, like how to access and stuff like that, and what kind of cameras that they have, 35mm specifically. 
film types ca types of cameras and some point and shoots. And obviously, it's a it's a camera shop where I guess I have to go there a couple of times to sort of like understand what kind of cameras they have behind the windows and also within the crates and stuff because that takes forever to like check every single camera. So that's why I guess it's like really liked among a lot of foreigners because especially the boxes, you don't know what kind of cameras or what kind of point and shoots are within those crates and boxes until you basically look at it. And because these cameras are being like wrapped around with sand wrap, you basically have to look through it to see if it's that specific camera that you're looking for. So yeah, that's basically it on my coverage on the camera box shop in downtown Shinjuku. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it informative. If you have any questions, I'm happy to reply. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace out.